What's going on, everybody? Sorry, I had a pop-up from uh, Xsplit pop-up, and I couldn't figure out what was going on with it for some odd reason. But, something different. Uh, this picture was actually shown to me at the show last weekend in Lexington. Uh, no, it was not posted in Lexington. I'm guessing it might have been in Dallas or something like that. I have no idea the origin of it. But, a little bit different of a video. I'm curious if you guys went to a show... And you've seen this sign. What would you think? I mean, it's pretty much straightforward. They don't like the word comps. I mean, there's a lot of uh, people out there, collectors, dealers, whatever, do not like the word comps at all. Because it's kind of like that bad word out there, um, like market and flipper or flipping and et cetera, et cetera. I mean, we probably named a... Probably close to three, four dozen different words throughout time through these streams. But I actually thought this was comical. Some people, um, I've seen this go up on a post, and I don't remember if it was on Twitter or what. But they were like, I would start using the word comps to them. I mean, I kind of got it. But at the same time frame, it's good. You know, make an offer onto the card. He has a price, you don't like it. Give him an offer. Don't show him what last sold on eBay or Halt or 130 point because everybody out there that's been in this longer than pre-COVID knows you got IG sales that aren't recorded, um, Twitter sales, uh, oh, my slabs is out there, although some of them are starting to get documented, I've seen on a couple sites. I mean, regular house shows, deals between people that don't care about social media, uh, I mean, there's just tons. Facebook, any kind of social media platform basically is having sales. There's no way to track comps onto this stuff. Or, I'm sorry, I shouldn't use the word comps. I was reading the screen onto it. But this check recent sales onto a card. I think recent sales onto a card is not a bad idea to look at if you couldn't find, like, a value for it or have an idea onto it. Because if you recall, way back in the price guide days, you know, you had a price guide that told you what the price was. Throughout that month, it could go up, down, fluctuate all around onto it. But it, it was it's quite interesting. So, I've seen this, and it's been something I've been thinking about over the past couple of days here. You know, while I do find humor into this sign and everything, I respect it because... People will come up to you and they'll show you that one comp that's the lowest comp out there and they want it below that because you're you're going to have to pay fees if you're a seller on that site. Well, you know, at the same time frame, this car can be limited, numbered, however you want to word it. Find one else elsewhere. Go back onto that platform and pay your fees and uh, whatever else, sales tax and shipping, and hopefully the card makes it to you, you know, and it's in the great shape if it's raw. I mean, there, there's all kind of ways to look and approach this. Um, I know we talked about this to where with a lot of the new mentality came in the last two years with the words like market, analysis, uh, flipping, comps, all, all the other stuff onto it. I mean, comps has been around for many, many years, don't get me wrong. But some of the other terminology where people took this as an investment market, like stocks and stuff like that there, eh, I could see it a tad. But at the same time frame, this is way different. This has been a hobby for many, many decades versus the stock market, which has been a platform used for investments. You could say, yes, I invested in the baseball cards, held them for 30, 40 years, and I made X amount off it, or 3, 10X, whatever it may be, stuff like that. But it was never looked at that. It was an enjoyable hobby that, you know, um, groups of friends got to do, dads got to share with their kids, grandpas maybe even shared with their grandchildren, stuff like that out there. But without getting long wind in this video, you guys see what's on the screen in front of you, of course. What would you? Th what do you think? First of all, on this sign, and you know, do you think it's rude by them saying that? I mean, I kind of with the exclamation points, I got kind of might come across rude, but you know, if you saw something like that, would you walk past the table and just be like, sure, "I ain't messing with them." I mean, if you're there for steals and deals, you definitely want to walk by or at least give the guy a reasonable offer onto it too. 
But all right, guys, have a good one. And I will catch you guys next video because I really am actually looking forward to seeing a lot of the comments on this one. Because I'm sure, uh, as always, I'll learn some stuff from it. But it also gives me a different aspect on how other people are looking at it versus myself as well. All right, guys, I'm out. See you all next video.